Now that being said, you should still prepare for this because it has become popular. And here's the reason why it's become popular. So this website is pretty popular. And in this website, one of the things they do is at the beginning, even before designing the system, they'll start estimating the capacity. And because it's popular among people, once people joined companies, they started asking the same thing. All because whoever wrote this website decided that we want to do capacity estimation. Uh, and so because of that, it's become popular and some interviewers will expect you to do capacity estimations so you should still prepare for this which brings us to our last point which is why doing these capacity estimations early on doesn't impact your design so generally speaking there's two kinds of design in system design interviews one is the scalable design and the second is non-scalable design in non-scalable design typically you'll have one machine or one server uh, and the interviewer will ask you to start off a design let's say you're designing facebook how would you first do it on one machine and then scale it out to many machines Machines. And when you scale it out to many machines, you then design to scale and you design to scale to millions of users. So there's really two categories of designs here, with the scalable design being usually the ultimate goal of your interview. Now, these capacity estimations really don't affect your scalable design because you're really making it scalable to millions of users, huge amounts of data. And so calculating an exact number of how much storage you need really doesn't affect your design, okay? especially your high level design. You can maybe do that later on when you go into deeper design, but for the high level design, it really doesn't matter. And so the question we recommend candidates to ask the interview is, do we want to design with scale in mind? Another way of phrasing it is, do we want to design for millions of users, right? And this is enough to tell you if you should design this system or this system first. Eventually, you probably end up with this, with the scalable system, because that's the goal of the interview usually, but this will tell you where to start. Now, again, keep in mind that system design interviews are very subjective in general, and so really a lot of this will depend on the interviewer and what they expect. And so you should always ask the interviewers questions about what they expect. Usually the interviewer will lead you in the direction if you're doing something wrong. They'll try to steer you into a direction that they're expecting. And so just be mindful of that. But those are our standard recommendations about capacity estimation. But above all, prepare for capacity estimations because A, there's no harm in it and B, many interviewers might expect it.